AI robotics has the power and potential to alter the future of healthcare for us all. The keys to unlock this broken healthcare system lie within you. And this all started because of a phone call between a stranger that is caring for a loved one with severe dementia, which means she has memory issues, and myself, a clinical data scientist, just happy it wasn't telemarketer. Our roads cross paths because of this AI robotic device and its ability to drastically decrease medication errors in the home. This is Gloria, and this is her story. Oh, before my diagnosis, yeah. <laughs> I was alive. <laughs> And because I, as, I, as I got older, things started happening. And um, if I didn't have an accident, if it was one thing or another, you know. The question is, do we care? I'm going to try to convince you that we don't. Healthcare is broken. Over 129 million people in the United States currently live with a chronic disease. Five out of 10 of the leading causes of death are preventable and treatable with medications. Over 90% of all of the money from government, from companies, from your health plan premiums are spent on these conditions right now. Our gross domestic product from the 1960s to now has gone up year over year on healthcare expenditures. We all know it's expensive. But what we're doing about it, or what hasn't changed, is that the way that we spend the money within the hospital, within the clinic, by seeing the doctor, spending on medications has almost remained the same. And the, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. Maybe, just maybe, we should look within the home and enable people to do something different. Right now, we live in a drug distribution system, and it, it works amazing. Over 4.8 billion prescriptions were filled in 2023 for every man, woman, and child that's the equivalent to 12 medications each. We spent $722 billion on prescriptions, and 530,000 injuries due to medication errors that we are aware of, and we know it's drastically underreported. So I'm going to tell you the biggest secret in healthcare that hasn't been shared to you. 50% of people with chronic disease don't take their medications as prescribed. It's estimated that people with severe dementia or memory issues range anywhere from 17 to 42%, but it's estimated because if we ask people with severe memory issues, how can we expect to get an answer that's correct? Drugs are good, very good, and they work when they're taken. They save lives. This is former Surgeon General Dr. Koop. In the late 1980s, he said, drugs don't work in patients who don't take them. The last time you seen your doctor, your nurse, they asked you three basic questions. Are you eating a healthy diet? Are you exercising on a regular interval? Are you taking your medications as prescribed? What's fascinating is that 60 to 80% of us don't take our medications as prescribed. So how can we expect doctors, nurses, and pharmacists to care for us if we don't know and they don't know what's going on in the home? So the pharmacy equation is broken, and this is an example of a pharmacist a patient and a caregiver experience this broken pharmacy equation. We're assuming you're taking it as instructed, but there's no way to validate that. When you come in, how you been? I'm fine, you're taking your medication? Yep, next. I think I'm on about 10 different medications, if not more. I do not want to die over medication. It mentally, it's exhausting. Physically, it's exhausting. But I try to go through it and I wonder to myself, how much longer can I do this? What you're watching is the caregiver burden that exists right now, the grief, giving her all 
24-7, caring for a loved one that's slowly declining is real for millions and millions of us. One of the greatest inventions in medicine is medications. So now we get to what happens right now in the hospital. You have over 5 million clinicians, doctors, nurses, pharmacists that are educated and they're well-trained. They still make medical errors. In fact, in 2016, the third leading cause of death were medical errors in an environment where they have the technology, they have the resources, they still make mistakes because they're human. Then what happens is we hand these people or us patients to the caregiver in the home. Stack of papers. We're expected to follow complex instructions. Most of the medications we can't even pronounce at home and mistakes are made. So 53 million caregivers provide 36 billion hours of care in the home. And we spend the majority of our time in the home, but we don't give people the resources to be successful. So just maybe we could change things. The six rights of medication safety are what clinical pharmacists strive for every single day. Imagine if you, your favorite cup of coffee, right? This is what AI Robotics does, but if you walked up to their coffee machine, it scanned your face, it unlocked, but it gave you your favorite flavor, if it, the right amount of volume and at the right temperature. That's what AI Robotics does, but it is for medication. So the logic's fully built in but built in around safety. So there's a term, DDT RPD, which I know that many of you are probably already familiar with, but that is the right drug, dose, time, route, person, and documentation. Simply speaking, you get your medications when you need it, the right time, the right dosage, and the right frequency so you can stay safe. And if you don't remember, if you overdose or underdose right now, or just Taking medications are just a complex task. All of that can be smoothed out right now with this device. So, begs the question, did I take my medications? This is me. You can clearly see um, the video recording, my respiratory rate and heart rate. Uh, it tends to go up as I'm speaking, so you see it climb a little bit. Um, but for the first time ever, what you're really seeing is Verification, validation, and monitoring take place so we no longer have to guess what's going on in the home. People no longer have to remember. All of that can be done for this. This is Gloria, and this is her story about using the AI robotics device. Trained their mother-in-law that has dementia, and she was taking her medications like pretty much 100% of the time on time. So this has been a life-changing technology for that family. So if Gloria can do it, she has severe dementia. Just imagine what could happen with other patients with dementia. So the National Institute of Aging sponsored a grant where we looked at, at Rush University in Chicago, patients with mild to moderate dementia to do something that no one else has done before, testing their memory. And testing their memory, immediate and delayed recall from five minutes to 30 minutes. So the possibility of these people using this device and then taking their medication dose by dose was a far stretch. But then a major scientific discovery occurred. 100% of patients with mild to moderate dementia have the ability to enable themselves when other people have overlooked the power of the human brain. So we don't know exactly what people are capable yet with AI robotics, so we're just scratching the surface of what's possible, and that's exciting. So if patients with dementia can do this, what about patients with cardiovascular disease? So Medicare Advantage plan, patients with heart failure, which can be treated with medications, we looked at their hospitalizations pre, the deployment of the, this AI device and after. And what we saw was something that we thought was impossible, which was an 80% reduction in hospitalizations and a 67% cost savings. 
So something that has the ability to completely transform healthcare as we know it. So what are we gonna do over the next 60 years? We are all created as equal, but we're not treated as equals. What if we can create health equity and access, no matter age, race, gender, location, income, all of that can happen right now. We can level the playing field for everyone with this device in the comfort of people's home so we can enable the unable. Hospital-like care and technology in the home drastically can change everything. And if we reimagine what AI can do, this is just the start of AI robotics and the ecosystem that can be built in the future. This is Gloria and her family. And they drastically decreased the medication errors at home and they also gave hope and help to many other millions of families because they tried this device and the potential is so far and wide. I asked you 11 minutes and 36 seconds ago, do we care? We have to care. We can care, we should care. I'd like everybody here to share the story because we care. My name is Charles Gelman, I'm a clinical data scientist. Thank you. <laughs>